In this video, I'm going to be making a small bevel gauge. I want one that I can easily fit in my pocket. Just like I made this mini speed square a while ago, I find this one comes in handy. I use it all the time. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So to start with the handle, I'll be using some hardwood. And I went through my pile and this is some of the hardwood I have. And I, I'm going to go with this piece here. And this is called smoked oak. And for the blade, I'll just be using this piece of maple. Now I want to cut a slot in this block and it has to be cut at a 45 degree angle. So what I've done is raise the blade to this height and that'll give me a rough cut at that mark. And what I'll do is I'll make a mark on my fence with an orange sharpie and that'll tell me how far I can push this block. So if we check it with the large bevel gauge, we can see that that is a pretty good fit. I will go with that. To cut the strip, I measured it with my caliper and it's 3.85 millimeters. So I'm gonna use a piece of scrap maple for the blade. Now to clean up this piece that I cut on the table saw, I'll just use my bandsaw sled. And also to make the 45 degree cut. Now I can put the blade in and see how it fits. So that's a pretty good fit. And now what I'm going to do is cut the body down to the size that I like. And I said it was going to be a small bevel gauge. I've marked it and I will cut it to this length. For the clamping screw, I'm going to be using a joint connector bolt and a brass knurled nut. Now I'm going to drill out the slot and the bolt is a quarter inch, but I'm going to be using a 5 16th bit. Now that the slot is cut, I know how long to make the blade. The next part is to cut the bolt down. And what I'm gonna do is cut the nut and bolt down together. And I'll use my mini hacksaw to do this. The bevel square is complete and it works really good. Also the locking mechanism works really nice. Here it is. Here is my bevel gauge. I'm very happy with this one. I'm going to get a lot of use out of this one. So it's nice to fit in your a smaller toolbox and also like I said a small one that can fit in your pocket. 
Anyways, thanks a lot for watching and we'll talk to you guys soon.